hello friends <clears throat> welcome to another practice question of polynomials this is the 17th question in the series i will strongly urge you to go back and watch the previous 16 as well the link to the entire playlist is down there in the description for your uh, reference and this question is taken from the ncert textbook now this question says that apply the division algorithm to find the quotient and the remainder on dividing fx by gx and fx is given as this which is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and gx is given as x square minus 2 okay x square minus 2 so let's start solving this one here what you will see is that if i divide fx the degree of fx okay this is of degree 3 okay this is of degree 3 if I divide fx by gx and gx is of degree 2 okay gx is of degree 2 remember that when I divide fx by gx the quotient will be of degree 1 okay because the quotient will be of degree 3 minus 2 okay fx minus gx the quotient will be of 3 minus 2 that is equal to degree 1 so the quotient will be in form a x plus b okay something like this and the remainder is of degree so remember the quotient is degree 1 minus fx and the remainder is of degree 1 minus this this degree is 2 so i do 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 so the remainder will be also be of a linear form and it will be cx plus d okay now if i have to divide these two what will by division algorithm what will fx and gx become fx will be equal to gx multiplied by the quotient which is q of x okay and plus of r of x which is the remainder so fx is given as x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 this will be equal to gx which is x square minus 2 and this multiplied by q of x which we have picked up as ax plus b okay we have assumed it to be ax plus b so it will be ax plus b and this thing will be added to r of x which is cx plus d okay i hope you are following till here if you are following till here the further part of the question is all about comparison okay so i will compare the power of x cube here to the power of x cube here the power of x square here to uh, sorry the coefficient of x square here to the coefficient of x square here and so on i'll simply be comparing coefficients okay so let me just write down this part as it is which is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and this will be equal to a x cube plus b x square minus of 2 a x minus of 2 b plus c x plus d okay now what i have to do is i have to collect the collect the terms with similar variables for example this x and this x i have to combine and this constant and this constant i have to combine so what will this become is x cube minus 3 x square plus 5 x minus 3 is equal to a is equal to a x cube plus b x square minus uh, let me do a plus of x and let me take minus 2 a plus c and this constant term is d minus 2 b okay now you see what is the coefficient of x cube i compare that with the coefficient of x cube so i find that a is equal to 1 okay compare the coefficient of x cube with the coefficient of x cube i get a is equal to minus 1 
now compare the coefficient of x square with the coefficient of x square and you get b is equal to minus of 3 okay now <clears throat> let me leave the okay let's compare coefficient of x with the coefficient of x when you compare these two coefficients let me draw a line here when you compare these two coefficients you get minus of 2a plus of c is equal to 5 <clears throat> but i know that a is equal to 1 from here okay i put that here so it becomes minus of 2 plus c is equal to 5 and this will become c is equal to 7 so i got c also okay and here if i compare the constant coefficient which is minus 3 is equal to the constant coefficient here okay which is d minus 2b d minus 2b what i get here is minus of 3 is equal to d which i have to find and minus 2b which i know minus of 2 into minus of 3 so this becomes minus of 3 is equal to d plus 6 and d becomes equal to minus of 9 okay and i'll give you a moment to digest all of this <coughs> now i have all the four variables which I assumed okay I assumed ax plus b here and I assumed cx plus d here so now look here about what my answer will be so if you divide this fx by this gx the quotient will be ax plus b and a is equal to 1 okay we have found a as 1 here so a as 1 so it will be x plus b b is minus 3 so it will be x minus 3 and the remainder will be cx plus d so it will be 7x minus 9 and this is the solution my friends i will go up to show you the entire question that if you divide f of x by g of x then this will be your quotient okay this will be your quotient q of x and this will be your remainder r of x this is a slightly lengthy question and this is the first time we are good doing a question of this time so i was extremely slow next time onwards we'll pick up the questions much faster <clears throat> i hope you found the solution useful do like share comment and subscribe in case you want me to solve any other questions for you do put down your queries at the whatsapp number mentioned in the description till then keep working hard keep practicing hard cheers and god bless